and friends, this is Janet with Photography Makes. I'm doing a quick video. I have some haul stuff to share and I really want to share it because I really want to put it away. <laughs> so I'm jumping on to show some of the stuff I received um, in the mail. Uh, some stuff off Facebook Marketplace. Um, some things from the Happy Crafter Shop. Um, Sparkling Ghoul. Um, Dollar Tree, and then I, I got some crafty goodies from a, um, like a basement craft sale, so. Okay, let's start with Sparkling Ghoul, because they're right, they're right here. Um, I got some of these, uh, beads. I bought both the blue beads and the Christmas red, white, and green beads. Um, they're already in a container because the bag had exploded on the way here. <laughs> so when I opened my package, I had beads everywhere and it actually made me giggle. So it's okay. Things happen. She also makes these beautiful handmade bows. So I'm really excited to use these little candy cane bows. Um, the Happy Crafter Shop. I got some, um, snow, a bunch of snowflake stuff. So, uh, snowflake, um, I don't want to call it confetti. That's not what this is. But you know what this is. Okay. I also got from her shop these really cute, uh, like, bottle cap charms. Aren't those sweet? And, yes, I put these away, too, because I had forgotten I was going to share them. And then this is another box of goodies here. Um, but for her shop, I got the Snowflakes. They come in all these little different colors and styles. So these were two two different packs. Because one is a flat and then one has like a like an iridescent quality to them. And then I got these um but I bought a bunch of snowflakes from her actually. I got these little snowflake beads. And then I got some of these white snowflake cabochons. But aren't these great? And they're a great little size. They're not like too big and they're not too small. They're just perfect. Okay, so that's what I got from the Happy Crafter Shop. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, this next group is from Facebook Marketplace. So <laughs> I got this little family of gingers. Oh my God, aren't these the cutest? These are so old. These are from Stampa Barbara Collection, 1986. Yeah, but I just thought it was so cute that she had the three of them. So I got all three. Um, I got the stocking that we have seen a couple of times from Judith, 1996. Okay, and then this was like a bundle, um, but I obviously got it for the Diana Markham stamp. I don't have any of her stamps, and now I own one, and I'm really excited about her. She is the cute little bunny with the devil egg recipe on her. So, yes, never been used. This thing is like brand new, and it's beautiful, and I'm going to probably keep her out and put her up on, um, on my little ledge here with stamps that I use often. And then it came with all these like random sentiments and a little dancing candle and the Stampin' Up 1997 like cottage house. So that's cute. Um, I found the Basket of Happiness stamps. This is that um, set with the, the basket here. Here's the basket. And then you stamp in the... Uh, the t like what you're going to fill your basket with so I know you guys have seen this too but I am loving the primitive these have never been mounted I don't think these have ever been even inked so they're brand new um and I don't think I'm going to mount them I'll probably just leave them as is and stamp them that way okay so that was a really fun score I was happy to get that um off my curry, I got this little uh, punch, Martha Stewart punch. So it's just a tiny tag. Do I have a piece of paper somewhere? I got paper everywhere. <laughs> Do I have a piece of paper somewhere? That's kind of like a joke, isn't it? But it punches out this tiny little tag. Look how cute he is. 
he's just a tiny little guy. So I think this will be good for the, uh, it's actually this just about the same size as the uh, uh, Lily of the Valley stamps. Okay, Dollar Tree. Um, I got this really pretty soft blue, baby blue, and snowflake ribbon. Um, and I bought some bells that I spray painted to look rusty. They're actually outside drying. That was the first batch. I'm trying to think what else I got from Dollar Tree. Um, I think, I think that's all I got from Dollar Tree. Oh, well, I bought some wood shapes, but you guys have seen my wood shapes. Okay, and then I just came from a little crafty sale, and I picked up some goodies. So I picked up this, like, beautiful crocheted lace, I guess it is. I don't know, but I don't have anything that has, like, appliques on it, so that's pretty cool. I'm just going to grab kind of at random because this bag's a little bit full. Um... Yep, I got some uh, boxes. So these are good for like uh, doing craft shows or whatever. Um, this Whipper Snapper Designs sentiment stamps. So they're all cut up and kind of crazy, but I liked I liked the sentiments on it. Um, a whole thing of this red. It says edging, sealed edge acetate, water resistant. But I thought this would be a nice ribbon for tags. Some really old glitter. Look how beautiful this is. <laughs> I don't think it's glass. Does it say? Non-tarnishable. Not, not glass. So it is not glass. But it, it's old. And it's so so pretty. I just like this for the box. Um, I got this chalk set. Because I don't have any chalk. And now I do. Uh, yeah, I think that would have came in handy with the snowman I made. Okay, I bought some uh, chenille stems. I thought I'd make some candy canes. Uh, I got this cute little bear with the um, sled with the ducky. I don't know what brand this is. It looks like it might be under there, but he's pretty large. He's a pretty large stamp. So I'm looking forward to him. Got some glitter dust. I've been using that a lot, so I figured I might as well grab another container while I could. Um, I got this really pretty trim. It's uh, white and green. Uh, I got some tools for jewelry making. They're a little beat up, uh, but my husband can clean up tools really well, so I might send this off to him. Uh, I got some like little cowbells. So... There's a little, like a little four pack, um, a package of jump rings for 25 cents. I mean, you can never have too many jump rings, can you? So I grabbed the jump rings. Okay. Uh, this is a presents with Holly prickly pear stamp. Um, I think these are cute. I think these would look cute in a little wagon or who knows. It's Christmas time. So I actually grabbed most, mostly Christmas stamps, I think. Um, I don't know what brand this is, but these are, um, little snowmen. I just really like, I like these guys in the little coat. I thought they were cute. So they're blue rubber. I have no idea what that means, but I'm sure they'll stamp as well as red rubber. And maybe you know what, what, uh, company does blue rubber. But yeah, that's blue rubber. Okay, she had some peachy keen sets, uh... This one is Christmas greeting words. So, you know, it says to eat chocolate, peace on earth, wishing you joyful, better, better not pout. Like how cute. Santa Claus, ho, 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 silent night. So these are, you know, peachy keen stamps. Those are nice. And then um, here's a little Santa. <laughs> this is the peachy keen Santa set. PK332. He's super cute. And he's a nice size too. Like he's. He's a nice size. My hand for reference. Okay, um, this is a little snowman. I don't know the brand of him either. But I really liked him on his little sled. How cute is he? I love snowmen. They're my, one of my favorites. Okay, I picked up this precision cutting die. 
from Frantic Stamper. Oh, okay. And it's um, it's a little cardinal. He's not very big. And it's set, what does it say on here? Set of four dies. I don't know if there are four dies in here. I guess I should have checked it. I, I mean, I kind of looked at it briefly, but oh no, they're all in here. I don't even think this has been used. Yeah, there it is. Can you see it? I'm sorry. So, I like making cardinals um, uh, theme projects. So. Okay. Uh, big background stamp. He's a bit dirty. He's been loved for sure, but I like the pattern. This is a Stampin' Up! 2004. Does it have a name on it? Oh, it, it does. Uh, oh, no, but just a set of one Stampin' Up! Oh, simple stripes. Sorry. So yeah, I like the, I like background stamps. Okay, I grabbed some beads. These are just um, little butterfly beads. Uh, and peach and... Oh, they're little um, butterflies and moons, actually. And then I grabbed these little chunky beads uh, that are red hearts. Okay, and I saved the best for last. All right, here's the best for last. Oh, I don't know. The stickers are on top. <laughs> Look at this cute little ginger man. Ginger man. Gingerbread man <laughs> on top of a rolling pin. Um, hold on. Let's peel this sticker off. Let's see who makes these. I found two. I found this one and I found the second one here. This is Carolee Jones Ginger Rolling Pin by Art. Uh, I'm sorry, it looks like Art Wild, doesn't it? Can you read that? And then this is the second one I found. It's a little gingerbread on a spatula. And yeah, it looks like this was stamped on or something, but how cute. So, yeah, I don't know if they've ever been inked. The tops of them have been inked. <laughs> but I don't know if the actual stamp has been inked. So, yeah, those were my finds today. I was hoping to find some gingerbread stamps, and here I found ones, two, two of them that I haven't seen before. So I was pretty excited about that. I think I did pretty good for the day. Um, and the only other thing I've bought recently is this paint pen. I haven't tried it yet. Got it from Dollar or from Walmart. And, um, I think that's about it, guys. I thank you for watching my videos. I thank you for commenting and uh, just all the kind words you guys have shared with me is, is so heartwarming. I really appreciate all of your kindness, your inspiration, your, your feedback, um, this has been really fun. I've really enjoyed creating projects and sharing it with everybody. So, okay. I hope to talk to you guys soon. Have a great night. Bye.